Hello, my name is Jeff. This is Castle Tulip, your home defense network. This is a question that I get asked repeatedly, and it's also to the point where I've actually subscribed to some of these um, rideshare people um, for a different perspective. The question I get, and you can see down here, should Uber drivers be allowed to carry concealed weapons? Okay, this is a comment that I get a lot, and also a little bit of the very end of the comment. Um, this guy, uh, the rideshare guy gives good uh, advice, but I want to reposition a little bit. I would su strongly suggest if you are a Uber, Lyft driver, Juno, or whatever, you need to know the, what can happen, okay? And the, the, the problem being is we need to back up a little bit. Now, let's go to um, the legal um, thing for, for Uber. Uber's firearm policy... Uh, prohibition policy. Ooh, they prohibit it. Our goal is to ensure that everyone has a safe and reliable ride. They're kind of they're kind of intimating that having a concealed weapon is inherently not uh, safe uh, um, and reliable. That is why Uber prohibits riders and drivers from carrying firearms of any kind in a vehicle while in use of our app. Um. This is a little bit of different uh, legal disclaimer that they used to have. They they used to have a different verbiage saying that it may it may um, uh, suspend you from the app. Some people really believe that okay, now that you've entered an agreement with with Uber, um, you can't carry concealed weapons because of the policy. And people, well, yes, you can. If you're legally allowed to carry a, uh, a concealed firearm in your, in your state, Uber doesn't have any any legal uh, qualifications where um, it will put you in jail, it will sue you for, for that. All they're going to do is turn off your app. So uh, you're going to lose your job. But again, if you listen to Harry on the right chair uh, guy, it is May. I don't have that verbiage here. Okay, All it says... From carrying firearms of any kind in a vehicle while using the app, it doesn't say that their policy, what their policy is. Even if you use uh, Harry of the Ride Share, uh, Share Guys version, that it may suspend you from the application. May is a very wishy-washy word. It, you may or you may. Not. We have to have the circumstances. If, if if circumstances here doesn't require you from turning off the app, then other circumstances uh, are. That being said, is that they must have a certain um, similarity. They can't just arbitrarily turn someone's person's app off and then remain so on. So they have to have some general guidelines there. Now, you Lyft drivers, this is the weapons policy. To keep our entire community comfortable, how is something hidden going to make other people comfortable? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Lyft has a strict no weapons policy. This means you can't keep a flash, one of those um, um, mag, mag light flashlights, those big long uh, mag light, those could be used a weapon. If you drive for a Lyft and you are a concealed carry policy, uh, a concealed carry person who, who understands what the Second Amendment really is, but you are driving for Lyft, who is a 1099. You're not a W-2 employee. You are a 1099. They cannot tell you what you can and can't do. All they have here is what they will do to you if you do carry. Okay. This means that any driver or passenger possessing a weapon in a Lyft vehicle, oh, Lyft vehicle regardless of whether uh, possession is illegal where they are, they will be removed from the platform. We approach this issue from the community's perspective. Oh, really, do you? You do not even closely represent the community that I live in. It is hard to know what someone else or, or is or isn't con uh, comfortable with. Well, how about this? How about someone gets into a lift car that is uncomfortable that, the, that your driver isn't concealed carrying? Have you ever taken that perspective? No, again, they don't. The mere presence of a weapon might make another community member distressed. 
you know, this is the PC community at its worst. That there might be something in in your car that may offend somebody. With that being said, how about someone hanging a cross on their mirror? Is somebody going to get offended by you hanging a cross in your mirror? So uh, for me, any of you guys who are Lyft, uh, people who are, dri are driving for Lyft, with this policy, if um, that they can willy-nilly fire your business for having any kind of weapon of any determinate, listen, Lyft reserves the sole judgment on what constitutes a weapon. They are the final arbiter on what a weapon is. Is a cigarette lighter a weapon? It could be. Your car could be a weapon. Um, they can just do anything you want. Um, so let, let's, let's backtrack a little bit. You can carry a weapon. All they're going to do is turn off your app. If you're caught, if you are an Uber driver, they may do it. If they, you are a Lyft driver, they will do it. The one other thing that I want to really uh, get into is um, the people who use the app and are passengers in uh, rideshare car drivers uh, vehicles. Some states require that you ask permission to conceal carry in their car. So if something does happen and you find out that you were you are concealed carrying, the driver found out that you were concealed carrying, he does have the weight of the law behind him. I want to fully understand that you guys realize that. If you're a passenger, in certain states, you are required by law to tell the driver that you are concealed carrying, and if something happens, the full weight of the law and its consequences can be on you. However, if you are legally concealed carrying and you are the driver, Uber and Lyft has doesn't have the weight of the, the federal, state, and local governments behind it. Okay? My name is uh, Jeff. This is Castle Tool of the Home Defense Network. I hope this helped.